first and foremost, we'd like to begin by giving all praises, all on all glory to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Kakadash. Praises on and glory to the Heavenly Father, true name in the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and also in the name of the Holy Spirit. As what we said, and we like to give the well honors, double to the elders and apostles of great mercy and our teachers that surely do rule well. Peace, love, salutations to all the brethren. And on the four corners of this world that continues to spread this word, it's good gospel in all sincerity and in truth. All right, two brothers here from Great Millstone, Trinidad, are here with the brother Kora. All right, myself, brother Kalab, come to the spirit and power of your Hawa Basham, your Shai, to do this lesson and Lord willing and edifying. All right, today is another one of your, um, your weekly dose of your Psalms. We're going into the book of Psalms, chapter 79, and starting at verse 1. It says, O power, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. Thy holy temple have they defiled. They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. All right, and this is a psalm of David, a psalm of Salak, a psalm of Asaph, you know, going into or lamenting on the destruction that took place in Jerusalem by the hands of the Babylonians. All right, the heathens are come into thine inheritance. They came in and they caused devastation under the rule of Nebuchadnezzar. All right, I'm going to read about it in the book of Second Kings, Papa Kusha. Second King 25, verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, mm -hmm. in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came, he and all his hosts against Jerusalem, and pitched against it. Mm -hmm. And they built forts against, forts against it round about. Right, so they, they came up against Jerusalem, but it didn't just start there. All right, to, to, to get to the children of Israel, to be able to destroy the children of Israel, the Most High had to be against them. All right, because once the Most High for the children of Israel, nobody can be against, nobody can come up against them. Did the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 31. And you just jump up to um, the, the last verse before um, chapter 25, right? Papa Kusha. Romans, chapter 8, verse 31. It says, What shall we say then? What shall we then say to these things? If the Most High Yahweh Basham Yahushai be for us, the Israelites, so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, who can be against us? Nobody. That's the answer that. Nobody could come up against us if the Most High has our back. And if they do, they won't prevail. Alright, but the destruction that took place, the besieging and the destruction that took place at Jerusalem was due to our sins. We vex the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Back in the Kings, Papa, shall I read this verse here? For Second Kings 24, last verse. Second Kings 24, verse 20. Mm -hmm. He says, he say, for, 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 for true the anger of the Lord, it came to pass in Jerusalem and Judah mm -hmm. until he had cast them out from his presence mm -hmm. that Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. Exactly. So the Most High, through his anger, he's, he, he removed us. And who he used to remove us? These heathen nations. Anytime we give in trouble, the Most High always use the heathen nations to whip us. Alright, when you read in the book of Psalm, Psalm 17 and verse 13, the, the Psalm is David lamenting and he's saying, Deliver me from the wicked which is thy sword. The Most High uses these nations to keep us in check. Alright? That's a... You know, and, and, and there is, you know, as the scripture say, you know, a, this how, how the Lord has shown you love. Okay. Because he say who a father, you know, he, he chastised his son, you know, them he love. Mm -hmm. You know, and because we turn me back on your Basham Yosha, you know, these things and these are righteous judgment because he knows just in everything he do. Righteous okay. judgment. So yeah, pass. So the position that we in today, being in servitude to these hidden nations, them possessing our land, is due to the the fact that we, we anger the most high. That didn't just happen. That didn't just happen one morning. All right, it's a sequence of events of things that took place leading up to the Most High making that kind of move, okay. opening us up to these enemies. All right, there's um Jeremiah real quick. Jeremiah 50 and verse 17. Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria when the Assyrian captivity going back to the year 7, 722 BC under Shalmaneser the fifth. All right, which was actually started off by his father Tiglai Pileser. All right, but he 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 made it in put in um, fruition where he took majority of the northern kingdom into Assyria. All right, and replaced them with heathens, Babylonians, etc. It says, 
First, the king of Assyria had devoured him, and last, this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had broken his bones. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that was due to our sins. Verse 18 says, Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, Behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land as I have punished the king of Assyria. So his punishment coming for them. And that is what they don't understand. Esau, you should be trembling in your boots. Every nation that the Most High used to punish us, the Most High is end up turning wrong and punishing them. Can that righteous judgment because the scriptures say, Wherever a man sin it by the same, he shall be punished. That is how the Lord does work. Mm-hmm. You know, a karma. That is it. Right? Whatsoever a man. So, so it that we're gonna read and then the most i made it plain he said it in the book of jeremiah chapter 2 and verse verse 3 it says israel was holiness unto the lord and guess what the most i doesn't change so was and is israel is holiness unto the lord which means separate a separate people on them and the first fruit of his increase out of all the nations the most i dealing with the nation of israel you only have I known. Emo chapter 3. It says, All that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them, said the Lord. <laughs> he can't go against that. So when it is he used you all to whip us, he still had to turn around and whip you all. Alright? And that is what about to happen to these devils, these Edomites. Because right now, as he, as the psalm started off, O oh power, the heathen are coming to thine inheritance. They have entered into our land. They took our land. And I spoken of in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 1, I don't know if you could bring it. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse, verse 7. There's Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 1 mm-hmm. and verse 7. He said, your country is desolate, mm-hmm. your cities are burned with fire, mm-hmm. your land, strangers devour it in your presence. Yeah, they devour it. How they devour in it? All right, right now across in the land. They have all these gay parades, Tel Aviv, you know, oral circumcision, dogs possessing the land. They're, just, they're making the land desolate. The land right now itself crying, just like how when you're reading the book of Second Ezra chapter, um, is it chapter 8, 9 going down there? It spoke about how Zion mourned for her children, you know. Right now Zion mourning. But there's a promise that as the neighbors of Zion and Baruch, as they saw our captivity, so they're going to also see our salvation. We're going back home. These dogs are in our land that possessing our land right now. That's saying, aha, aha. Let me get it. This is the book of um, Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse... I'll start at verse 1. Also thou son of man prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, un- and say ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord power, because the enemy had said against thee, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. That's what they're saying right now. They think that they have a one up on us. Due to the fact that they have our land, not knowing that, hey, that's the day of destruction. Arise, that's the day of demise. The most I am playing with that. Therefore prophesy and say, and then the land of a thing it is do. It is spew you out. Can. When there is unrighteousness in it, the land tends to spew you out. And hey, as the scriptures say, lest there be any vile or profane person as Esau. And Esau is the one possessing the land. So guess what? Soon and very soon, the land is going to spew him out. Yes, I'm not? Come on, okay. They Jeremiah 32, mm-hmm. verse 32. He said, because of all the evil of the children of Israel Mm -hmm. and of the children of Judah, Mm -hmm. which they have done to provoke me to anger, Mm -hmm. they, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and they have turned unto me the backs Mm -hmm. and not the face, Mm -hmm. though I taught them rise up early and teach, teaching them, yet they have not hearkened. To receive instruction and these will you know it come upon we because uh-huh. we provoke your bash from your shy to anger that is it the heathens possess our inheritance today and, and, and that is the, the vexed spirit mm-hmm. somebody ending up with what is yours Con- correct you understand hey that's 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 the greatest that's the greatest threat this verse 3 says therefore prophesy ezekiel 36 verse 3 therefore prophesy and say thus said the lord yahweh bashem your shy power because they have made you desolate 
and swallowed you up on every side. They swallowed us up. But guess what? Just like how that, that, that big fish swallowed up Jonah and had to spit him out, <laughs> they're going to have to spit us out. All right? You all ain't swallowing us up forever. We ain't going and stay in your belly and rotten. All right? Soon and very soon, our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to deliver us out of this. And he's going to set us, as the scripture says in Isaiah 14, he would have mercy upon Jacob and set them in their own land. Right now we're in stranger's land. Right now we're in a strange place. Can. And there's, there's what you Christian doesn't care again. You will have mercy on Jacob. Who is Jacob? Right? The Israelites. The so-called Negroes. Mm -hmm. You know? Negroes. So he's going to have mercy on them. Mm -hmm. No salvation for these other nations. Nope. They right? don't need saving. Who the, who the, who? When, you, when, you say, when you talk about salvation, you're talking about somebody that needs to be saved. Somebody Can. that's in a position... Of, of difficulty that needs rescuing in, in a low state, you know, a, a poverty, misery, mm -hmm. right? These are, the nation, the, these are the nations, they're living it up. They're not in, as you skip, they're saying Psalm 73, they are not in trouble as other men, Can. neither are they plague like other men. So, where's all this talk about salvation for them? they already in their heaven. Can. We're waiting for our heaven to come in, which is going to be right here on earth. Can. And, and through the will, power of your Hawaii, Hashem, your Shai. Other galaxies. Can. Alright? That is where the kingdom gonna be. Can you know, say you go you go to prepare a place. Mm -hmm. You know, for the Israelites. Is you it? know? And they just show a this mentality, you know, a two thirds of our people like to use that, you know, a God help them who help themselves, you know. That is madness. Because if we could help ourselves, where is the need of a God? Is is where is the need of a power? If we, we could help we ourselves, we can't help ourselves here. Right? We cannot help ourselves here. We need our power. We need your Basham Yoshai, the God of the Hebrew Israelites. And that is what he's teaching us today. He's, the Most High is teaching the children of Israel that, hey, you all need me. When you read the book of um, Hosea chapter 13 and verse 9, I'll bring that out real quick and then I'll jump to the, the judges that I wanted to bring out to back you up. Um, is the book of Hosea chapter 13 and verse 9 O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself That's what we do with self Can. We destroy with self But in me is thine help The most I say in me is your help We, we can't help with self Alright, we, we, we are not in that God's God-like state to help ourselves. Right now we, we in chains of darkness as the scripture say. So if you're wrapped up in chains, obviously you need somebody to loose you. Correct. You can't loose yourself. That is why it is Yahweh Shai, the scripture says in Malachi 4 and 2, he's coming with healing in his wings. He coming with them bodies. He coming with our change. He coming. That is why his name is Yahweh Shai. He's salvation. He's deliverer. That is the one saving us. We can't save ourselves. This is the book of Judges chapter 7. And verse 2, it says, And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand had saved me. The most I don't deal with that. The most I want to make sure that it is clear to see that he is the one savior. You don't want to be proud next thing you send out there with a hundred thousand and you think it's because of the numbers you get saved. Yeah, yeah, you win. The most I don't deal with big numbers. That is why a remnant is going to be saved. Can't. You know, I just watch, you know, these, these nations getting set up to be slaughtered. Can't. Because all nations that ever did Israel wrong, mm -hmm. your Basham, your Shai dealt with the situation. He I dealt guess. with them. Mm -hmm. You know? The reason why. If if, if you, you get saved, if you save yourself with big numbers, you know what I mean? Most of you dealing with that too. With that big amount of numbers. Mm. When, you, when you get saved, when um, you get delivered with small numbers, you say, no, nah, it had to have a goal behind, behind this. It had to have a behind this because we can't do this by ourselves. Mm -hmm. This small number. That is it. Something that is something divine. divine. A divine yeah. intervention. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So let me just continue in the Psalm that Bakusha is about 13 verses. The, it's verse 2 says, Psalm 79, verse 2 The dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth. Alright, and that happened actually physically and spiritually. Alright, back then, as, as, it, as the context goes, 
he's lamenting the destruction that took place at Jerusalem in the time of the Babylonians. All right, and it was a dread slaughter when they read and they continue reading the Second Kings 25. It, 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 it goes into it that they devoured them and all the soldiers fled and whatnot. All right, but in a spiritual sense, they killed us. All right, they took us away from our power, they took us away from our lifeline, they taught us new names, they taught us new doctrines. That is make that is putting us in a dead state and then leaving us out there in the open, which is mentioned here in the book of um, Revelation, chapter 11. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, which is America. All right? Where also our Lord was crucified. He was exed out. They don't pro when, you, when you go to the land of America, every prayer ends with in Jesus' name. Who is Jesus? All right? Jesus is a false God, newly come up. They exed out Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the true Messiah, but they don't teach that. Jesus, the word Jesus is not even my name. Can exactly, all right? Yeah, and it's as Libra now say, you know, mm -hmm. America, which is called spiritual Egypt, and Sodom, you know, Egypt doesn't mean you know it that land, you know, it means a bondage, slavery. That is it. You know, Habakkuk two twelve, you know, how America was established mm -hmm. by slavery, by you know, by the blood of the children of the Israel. Can right, and to prove. That, that, that it's a dead state that day in the scripture saying Proverbs 21 and 16 the man had wandered out of the way of understanding in that land they don't get the true understanding so it's a, that is a whole that is a, um, we just call it a graveyard America is a, a, a big graveyard that is about to be burnt <clears throat> that is what America is but there are the few men that the heavenly father have woken up through prophesying okay. through the works of the, works of the apostles and through the divine to the divine intervention of the angels because it's through the work that the angels did that made this gospel come here on the earth this is revelation 14 and verse 6 and i saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people the christian will say you see to every nation and kindred and tongue and people why why dummy because Israel was scattered into all these different um, nations, kindred, and tongues. Can. That is why brothers all around the world James waking up today. Can. can. The 12 tribes scattered abroad. Can. That is why brothers waking up in Peru. Hey, look, we here, we walk in, in, in the Caribbean. All right, brothers in America. Brothers in um, Germany. That brothers all around the world. Every nation, kindred, and tongue, and people. All right, so going back to it. In Psalm 79 verse 2, the dead bodies of thy servants have they given to be meat unto the fowls of the heaven, the flesh of thy saints unto the beasts of the earth. Everybody devouring we. Can it can it can for it to, for it to, um, come out that boldly and say the, the nation was given unto everybody. It, it proves us wrong in Daniel also. Mm. In Daniel 2 and, and um, um to Daniel 2. I think it's 37, it, it, it tells you who, and it says no other, no other nation is Come on. Well, let's finish with the um, Revelation. Can. Revelation 11 and verse, verse 9 now. It says, And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies. They saw our dead bodies, they saw us out in the streets. Done. They, they had, a, as the scripture says in Psalms 83, they were confederate. They consulted against us. They were in a tumult. They, this is exactly what they wanted us to see. They wanted to see us in. They wanted to see us in a dead state. Alright? But they shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. We can always be dead. Which was spiritually is going into the 250 years. Alright? From the time period that the the el Bivums came on the scene you understand when he came on the scene and started to teach this word brothers began to to wake up brothers began to resurrect because this word went out and this word is life can you can scripture say mm -hmm. you know in the in the land of the captive we shall remember ourselves. that is it you know you'll catch back yourself 
You understand? Put back on there because they leave you out there for the birds to eat. So just think about it. They leave a dead body out there for the birds. The birds to come and eat. All they go leave back is bones. That is how we end up as a valley of dry bones. The birds came. They all these different false philosophies. All these different grievous wolves. These different hidden nations came and took advantage of us and left us out there meatless. And now today these pastors, they continuing off the work that the enemy started. Alright? As the scripture would say in the book of Micah. Yeah, you have it? Yeah, the um, precept here was looking for. Can, can. Well. That I would Daniel 2 mm -hmm. and 44. And in the day of, 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 shall, shall I of those and kings. Of those kings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read it for you. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse 44. It says, And in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom. Mm -hmm. Go now. Set up a kingdom mm -hmm. which shall never be destroyed. And where is that kingdom the most I set up? It starts with his truth. When you read in the book of um first Ezra chapter 4. And it talks about the truth. It says the truth is the kingdom. That's why he says the kingdom of, of the Most High is within you. What is within us? This truth, this knowledge. All right, so in the days of those kings, he's going to set up this, this, this knowledge. That's why we have this truth inside of their kingdom. He has prepared a table for us in the presence of our enemies. Good <laughs> on And days how, days how we, we made different. The Lord blew that breath of life into we. That is it. You know? That is it. We are the name. We are a hey, true gospel. We have the right teachers. That is the breath. All right. It says, and the kingdom shall, which which shall never be destroyed. They can destroy this truth. Mm -hmm. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. To other people. See. So that because, because the kingdom wouldn't be even in Daniel prophesied that the kingdom is for Israel. That is it. It's not, but go on, you'll see. But it shall break in pieces, and that will be doing. Mm -hmm. It's not my word like a hammer. Huh? That break it in pieces huh? and consume all these kings. Is it my word like fire? Mm -hmm. It consuming them, it burning them, it breaking them down. It says these kingdoms consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. Right, so if yeah. you're consuming all the other kingdoms, is who? All the other the nations. nations that rule. Right, so so salvation could never be for, for, for all the other nations. Exactly. When, when all the other nations gonna be um consumed. You see? And it, yeah. it, it, in the scripture tell you and no other that is it see but these 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 christians and also these pastors they don't have they don't have the holy spirit to see that uh -huh. that's right here to see but they're under something called the 501c3 charter so things like these they can go go into it and explain to the people that hey it's only one people the kingdom ready for God. God. yeah when john when john when john get the vision on the island of patmos we say the new jerusalem we say you see 12 gates God. and written on the the gates are the twelve tribes. Are the hey, when Israel. So when these other nations fit in place, bring that here? message to Nebuchadnezzar, mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar bow down. That is it. Mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar say, you, your God is it, the God of all yeah. gods. Yeah, yeah, these nations, these knowledge. nations, them the war spot and the war, the war place, and the place is gonna be captivity. That is God. it. Not the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites. God. New rulership, new government. That's right. That's right. The two judges come in terrain. That's right. That is all. Even the lost tribe and promised land, you know, I, I can't remember the, 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 the page, right? The natives say they're going to once rule this earth again, again. Hmm. as they once did. They are they're going to rule over the oppressors. If they don't know it in the scriptures, it is the spirit. Can. That is it. Is the book of Revelation? Revelation chapter. I have to read this one. Boom, boom, boom. Get my man. Revelation chapter 22 and I'll read verse 15. It says, For without for without a dogs, for without a dog, without his outside, are the dogs. These are the nations. Um Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. Against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog lift his tongue. Without our dogs, they ain't gone. They ain't gonna have the same position. We have will have the same resting place that we're gonna have in the kingdom. They're gonna be there. Mm -hmm. They are going to be in the kingdom, but they're going to be without. The script as, as it saw in um Luke with the parable with Lazarus and the rich man, there was a great gulf fixed. 
we ain't gonna be sharing the kingdom. Okay. You all are gonna be the servants, we are gonna be the rulers. That's how the Heavenly Father set it up. And it's nothing to change that. Alright? Where's a kingdom without kings? Okay. And much more, where's a kingdom without servants? Okay. You all are the servants to come. You all are ruling now, right? So, the, the balance of it is that you're gonna serve in the future. Okay. All right, so continuing in the Psalm 79, verse 3, their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. There was none to bury them. What the scripture said there in Revelation 11, we'll finish it off. Revelation 11 and verse, verse 9, and day of the people and the kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. All right, they didn't lay us to rest. They didn't give us this knowledge. They allowed us to be out there and, 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 and basically rot down to bones. So now that is why the most had to set back up this ministry, you know, flowing off um, Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the 36th the, the chapter. Shall these dry bones live? You know, son of man, can yeah. these bones live? Yeah. Prophesy. And that is what happened. There was a prophesying that took place and we, we got that life. We were laid to rest. Yeah. All right? In this knowledge. Continuing, it says, We have become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are wronged about. And that is what you're seeing today. Hosea 8 and 8. Israel is swallowed up and now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. All they see us as is niggas, all they see us as is good for nothing or, 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 or street boys or, or, or you know, re, um, vagrants, okay. jailbirds. They don't see us as royalty okay. because we haven't been acting as such and speaking entirely to the nation because when you look at our people, they have this, 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 this docile state of mind. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? That was that is the question had to be asked in Jeremiah they concerning these people. They don't, they don't possess that rule of class mentality. mentality. They want look at any talk to Jake. You tell them salvation is for them. So why about the other nations? Okay. Forget the other nations. <laughs> you going to rule. Okay. As the scripture saying um the book of Second Ezra, chapter 8. Seek out the glory of such that be like thee. Your people. Forget okay. these other nations, these other nations not studying you. They want you to remain in the state you are. Can, yeah, they 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 content with that little yeah. where, where, you yeah, know yeah. where you saw they they content with that, and he seeing you know where where the enemies you know yeah. gain and but the, the content of this. Mm -hmm. So that scripture says Israel, who won't sleep, why is he spoiled? Why do you want to look for better men? Why do you want to turn back to all your power yeah. and stop worship idols? Yeah. You know this world was made for all yeah. Mm. The scriptures say that in Second Ezra seven. If I can bring it all real quick, yeah, you can do that. The Second Ezra, Second Ezra seven verse, verse ten. Mm -hmm. You see, and I said, "It is so, Lord." Then said he unto me, "Even so, also is Israel portion, mm -hmm. because for their sake I made the world. Mm. Right? He made the world for Israel's sake, Israel's but through a transgression and." We, Break the law, statutes, and commandments. The Most I give that unto the the other nation. See, they shall be the head, and we shall be the tail. Yep, yep, yep. You know, but your Basham your Shai come back to set back that order, set back that standard how it was. Mm -hmm. Real. Right. So it had to have servants. It have to have slaves. <laughs> so all these things what these heathen possess. You know, hey, when you watch your pay slip, is a set of tax. Mm -hmm. Tax goes back to tributes. Mm -hmm. So the scriptures say they're gonna pay tributes to Israel. So all that we're possessing again from where we're gonna get back that a double. Back all we're holding in the, the treasury house. <laughs> that is for the Israelites, they're preparing that for we. That all that gonna be restored to we and more. And the scripture said that. The scripture said that in the book of Job. Job chapter um, boom. Where's that scripture in Psalms where they say they're gonna come up to Israel and, and they're gonna come up to, to praise the Lord. And, um, it sounds in. Mm. But let's bring all this right. The yeah. Job 27 and verse verse 16 it says, Do he heap up silver as the dust and prepare raiment as the as clay? He may prepare it, but the just shall put it on. <laughs> and the innocent shall divide the silver. <laughs> all I like for the just. Mm -hmm. Like for the elect. 
Lord. So he ain't gonna. CG go have that mindset. They don't, they don't understand. And look, what we're going with them. Don't worry. <laughs> if, 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 you see, if they had that knowledge, they would know. But every time, every time they get oppressed, they say, all right. It, go ahead, go ahead. You always know it's your time. Don't worry. But I know the whole that they're saving up is for me. That is it. You know? Job 20 and verse 18, it says, That which he labored for shall he restore. And shall not swallow it down. God. According to his substance shall the restitution be. Mm-hmm. And he shall not rejoice therein. Sad times ahead for you all. Okay. We'll jump, we'll jump up to verse 15. He had swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. Power <laughs> shall cast them out of his belly. <laughs> not for you. He come in to take first because firstly all riches and honor belongs to Yahawashai. He's coming back for it. Yeah. He is coming back. It belongs to him. Yeah. All the all the wares that it that they took from um Jerusalem, Jerusalem and they drank from it. Yeah, it's no. Can. Right, so let me just continue. Baba because you have a you have a reason. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's, we are not talking about it. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah 17, verse 11. He say, as the partridge sitteth on e- on eggs mm-hmm. and hatch them not. So he that getteth riches, hmm. and not by right, shall leave them in the midst of his days, Beautiful. and at his end shall be a fool. And that is it. It's, just, it's going to be proven at the end of it. After all your science and all your and all your so-called technology, it's going to be proven that y'all were just fools. Okay. All right, y'all were fools because what it was trying to do is establish a world that is totally against Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Like they said it in this this um series on Netflix, your brother should check that out. All right, um, altered carbon. The Edomite said it. He said, um, don't you know that God is dead, and we are we are the gods now. That is what they're looking. That is what they're trying to do. Who sit it? Who sit it in the seat as God? Who oppose it? Everything that is called God. They're trying to reject God's status. And what 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 they're missing to achieve to fully accomplish that is that ship. So that is what they want to bring in to fully accomplish being God's on earth. But it's not going to happen. It's a microchip failure that's coming. Okay. It's going to fail. My body lady was saying, mm-hmm. she said everything that, that they do in, 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 the, in the heavens, the, um, the, the enemy, she said enemy, but we know it's yeah, yeah, can. right? Yeah, can. They try to do it in, 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 in the flesh. That is it. Earth, yeah. can. So everything in the spirit, they try to duplicate it. So the most high in control of everybody, they try to be in control of everybody. Yeah. Hmm. That's like what they're trying to do. You know, by way of the technology. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see? But well, Job say, you know, they, 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 were, they were children of fools. They were children they, 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 they were fools because... That, you don't see the end of the world, sissy. Mm-hmm. How you could go up against a great power? Like you're bash up your shit. You got to be foolish. You're suiciding yourself day. Mm-hmm. Right. One team that strive against his maker. But you see, he, saw the, <coughs> he, knows, he knows it and no other way. <coughs> Hmm. They're not gonna get back that that, that, that yeah. blessing. So, hey, what other way that the fight? Fight fit. You go ahead and try and fight. Okay. Mm-hmm. You understand? And he know any pro- he know any prophecies. He know in he, he know he was gonna be his enemy. No? He, he he know that yeah. he know any prophecy that why he making all these movies. Man, fall in and watch the second part. No, the last part in um Planet of the Apes. I think it was Warri Warri Apes. That's part two. I think that was the last part, I believe. Yeah, yeah. With the general. Right. Yeah, with the, yeah, with the general tell him. He mm. said, telling Caesar that you know soon we're gonna be the masters and we're gonna be the cattle. Hmm. We're gonna be the cattle. We're gonna be the we're gonna be the slaves. Yeah. And the the apes the apes supposed to represent us. Can. All right. We are those guys who the past ape. Then they call us that monkeys. Can. We're gonna rule next. You can make how much fun you want about it. It's reality. It's from the very said blessing that Jacob gave. That um, Isaac gave unto Jacob. He said, What? Your brothers, your mother's son shall serve thee. <laughs> Can. Your mother's son shall serve thee. Yeah. You must serve us. It ain't gone, it ain't, you can't go around that. It has got a little season as pertaining to Revelation 20. You got a little season to rule. Alright, well, let me just finish off this year. Verse 5 How long, Lord, will thou be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? Hmm. Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee. 
Tell him, I was a prayer, you know, hey, pray to the, the most high, hey, how long ago have us in, in the vision, you know what I mean? He's in, he's in the times. Mm -hmm. He's in times on this healing. That is and it. free us from our captivity. You see? So you know what that shows? That shows that this time we living in was prayed for from evil long ago. Long ago. <laughs> This time that, that is why these the men prayed. That is why the elect um they, they exist today. That is it. You see? That is why the Heavenly Father um speed up the thing. Okay. Because as the as the um, El uh, Kazak did that lesson, how did we get here? Hmm. How we reach in this position so fast? The hmm. most I speed it up. He hmm. shortened days for the elect's sake. Okay. Right now it's not a matter of years, it's a matter of days. Okay. Alright, that you spray that we in right now. We yeah. seeing that hey, it's near. It right there, even at the doors. Right now we in a we in a world, we in a world pandemic hey, where the world we, is on a lockdown. Before we know it, still like, yeah. mm -hmm. Before we know it, we, we, we come from our sleep and we had them bodies. That is it. Before we know it. Going up on them chariots. Going up on them chariots before we know it. We going up on them I never thought this would be happening, boy. <laughs> It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. Like, like you know, when you have a woman, and say, hey, I never thought I'd be with this woman. Yeah. You see? Hey, I never thought that's happening. And what's gonna make it spectacular is that simultaneously, the Mosa is gonna be pouring out his wrath. Hmm. So you going and being, oh wow, I get hmm. saved out of this. To water, the destruction, and and that in Revelation 15 say they stood upon the sea of glass. <laughs> Mingle with fire. That is them, the elect, watching that instruction. Okay. The most I finally point out that rat, and that is soon to come. Say, pour thy rat upon the heathen that have not known thee. Okay. He said, Only you have I known, the Israelites. Okay. We are the ones that had that intimate relation with the Mosai. The whole Bible, the whole Bible, if you didn't know, is a love story between the Mosai and Israel. Okay. Okay. That is the only people he's dealing with. And upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. Okay. So guess what? Even you two thirds that are out there and you, you false prophets that say we don't have to call the Mosai by his true name or we don't have the Mosai name, you all are going to be destroyed as well. Okay. All right? You all are going to be destroyed. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. You all devouring Jacob. That you false pastors as well. All right? They're devouring. Jacob, you're devouring your people. This is the book of Micah, chapter 3, and verse. I'll read at verse 1. And I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to do no judgment? Who hate the good and love the evil? Okay. Or they hate the good and love the evil, they like wickedness. Because Nate, you, you once had the name. But you put her behind you. And Nate, he read the name of the Most High. From um from left to right, that's a treason, that's a sin, okay. that's blasphemy. Ah, you know, you know how much men underneath him? <laughs> you know how much men he he had a hands up for? Can think about it. Think of how much thousands are, uh, how much men that had marching the other was uh, what was what a thousand man uh, was um five hundred or seven hundred, something like that. But who cares? Yeah, see. All right, they're all gonna be destroyed if yeah. they don't repent. But yeah, can but the point is, he mm -hmm. had the answer for all them, all is them it? numbers. Mm -hmm. And they also had the an answer for themselves because you could be so idiotic. Skip, they say work out your own salvation. You, you can't be a zombie. Can, can. All right, you had to search the scriptures to see if those things were so. I'm gonna tell you, all right, we don't have the name yet. Let me read. Let me read um, Zephaniah three and nine and see what that says. For the Lord will turn to the people a pure language that they all may call upon me. Let me see what the book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse, verse um, 14 says. Search the scriptures. Let me see what Isaiah 52 say. You know? The scriptures say, my people shall know my name. Okay. But they're doing just what the two thirds do. Just following. The lazy they like to do, like to do no research. No. You know, they following the government. Mm. You know, just the same way or they following it. And that, that proves that we are all people is really sheep, you know. <laughs> but right now they're being misled because sheep does love sheep love to follow. Oh, look, can you put a bell on one mm -hmm. and have beef lead mm -hmm. and all the rest will follow. That is it. So Micah 3 and 2. Who hate the good and love the evil, mm -hmm. who pluck off their skin mm -hmm. from off them and their flesh from yeah. off their bones. Pluck off the identity, man. Mm -hmm. you no know, pluck off that, that name from the, just by saying it. 
um, you don't have the name. And now look what he teaching. He teaching that we is not Hebrew Israelites. Son, he, he, he pluck off the flesh. He should put off the flesh too. We are not Hebrew Israelites. The guy preached at Titus. I think it's one. one. Come on, come on, take care. Listen, I'll pause this video. Shalom. Break it up. So, like, yeah? So, can so we continue in Titus chapter 1 and verse 8? 11. Verse 11, so, like, it says, outside of verse 10, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Yeah, they of Israel, you know. Vain talkers, you know, yeah, as I say, need no, he, he wants to know this name. What we teaching? The jail in Christ bless. Wow. You see that? The scripture just said there are many. <laughs> so guess what? If there are many unruly and vain talkers, then you have to be, you have to be on your P's and Q's. Can you know, and that is that, 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 that stubbornness, because your scripture says stubbornness is that it says of witchcraft, idolatry, because mm-hmm. we're teaching Christ. Like that, like that, that idolatry. That's it. The Read it on. The book of Proverbs say what? Um, the simple believe every word. Okay. You can't you can fall for these vain talkers and deceivers. You have to do your own research. Right? Verse 11 says, whose mouths must be stopped. Can, yeah. So the scripture says, hey, hey, your, hey, your mouth is going to be stopped by your Abba your Shai. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy local sake. Right, yeah. Sell out for, for money. That is it. To teach something different. Sell out to buy a jet. <laughs> These dummies. We going on chariots. We were with jet. <laughs> All right? There's um, Psalm 79 continuing at verse 8. Oh, remember not against us for my iniquities. Oh, remember not against us for my iniquities. Let thy tender mercy speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Beautiful prayer. For the most high to have mercy on us and to pardon us for our transgressions. As Habakkuk even said in Habakkuk chapter 3. Let me get that real quick. Book of Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse, verse 1. A prayer of Habakkuk, the, the prophet upon Shigonot. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O power, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yoshai, revive thy works in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. In your wrath, the wrath to come, we pray that Yahweh Ba'ashem Yoshai has mercy upon us. Oh. And he said he will, for the Lord will have mercy upon Jacob. Jacob. Fear not the womb, Jacob. Can I pick precept here? Mm-hmm. Isaiah fifty-five verse seven. He said, "Let the wicked forsake his way, mm-hmm. and the unrighteous man his thoughts, right. and let him return unto Yahweh by Shem Yoshai, mm-hmm. and he will have mercy upon him." A place of repentance. I wish they talk about that place of repentance was open unto them, but they despised it. These two thirds, they despise any place of repentance, the mercy, and that is why. In the book of Second Corinthians, chapter four, verse one, it says, "Seeing that we have received such mercy, we faint not. We understand that have uh, that this word being out here is mercy unto us, a chance of salvation. This, despite we were sinners. All right. Verse nine, it says, "Help us, O power of our salvation, for the glory of thy name." Can we say for help, help us? Help us, help us. Oh, how? As these two things, like they say, God help them who help themselves. We care, we serve, we ask the Lord to help us. We need our power. That is it. Help us, we are about Shom Yoshai. And deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their God? Can you, Let's... Hear, you hear that? For his name's sake. Mm-hmm. Yahweh about Shom Yoshai. You know, Israel and Christ bless. You know, so these heathens ain't gonna be able to, to really cool us. These heathens, the most I gonna put these heathens on hush, hush. Shut up. All right, all the laughing you did, you said, uh huh. You know, they said, look at these niggas. Is this the city of perfection? And all that talk, you're gonna have to shut up in that day when you see these men going up on chariots and your kingdom being nuked. Where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight. By the revenging of the blood of thy servants which is shed. And he's going to revenge your blood. 
Can. When you read in the book of um, Luke, Luke chapter, what the unjust judge said? Luke, is it Luke 18 and verse 8? I believe that's it. The number 35. Now, okay. In Luke chapter 18 and verse. I'll read it verse 7. It says, And shall not power avenge his own elect? And that word elect go back to the Greek word eclectos, which means what? Favorite. We are the most high's favorites. Being a part of this truth or making it, making it on them chariots is a sign that you are the most high's favorite. All right? We are his favorite people. And out of his favorite people, he has a favorite group of men, which he called the, the 144,000 and, and the rest of them. The rest of the one third. Which cried day and night unto him, do he be along with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? But that is what he's looking for. The Lord looking for those that have faith in him. Blessed are those that have not seen and yet still believe. We have not seen chariots close up face to face. Yeah. We have not touched or handled chariots, but we know that one day we're going to be in them. And that is where it's called faith. Yeah. That is when it is that, that then chariot burst them skies in that day, we're going to open up like this. Because we believe. We know that it's it's for us, our salvation. Fully persuaded and sure. Our yeah. mind ain't gonna condemn us because we know that we have done which that was required to do. As as um the apostle Paul is a is a certain level of confidence that you had to um attain and turn into these Can times. If your mind if your own mind condemning your head and into these times, you're done lost. Once you have done that which is required of you to do, the Lord say you're not unjust. Yeah. I am not unjust to forget your labors of love which you have shown and you have ministered and do minister. If you do these, you shall not fall. But it's them demons that come in your mind and make you wonder. Nah, you it's probably belief. not here. Yeah. That is where it's called doubt. Yeah, that, that, that is um, how um, um, walk on water. God, that will make them disbelief. That will make them drunk. Uh, that's why you say wherefore there is doubt <laughs> you know so you can say you say he will avenge them the, no no maybe uh, no, no, maybe uh, or yeah, doubt he will, will, will the most i will say wherever the lord would say he say you know, go back and he say him can. it will come and then he said this we name sake and, and for your name sake play with can i could preserve the jeremiah 30 verse 16. Mm -hmm. he said therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured Beautiful. And all thy adversary, every one of them shall go into captivity. Everyone, not some. All are all you going in slavery. Okay. Not some only. Okay. Every single nation going to be in captivity in chains by the Israelites, so called blacks, Latinos, and natives. You see, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Okay. And all they that pray upon thee, I will give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee. Hmm. And I will heal thee of thy wounds. Wow. Said the Lord Yahweh Shem Yoshai, hmm. because they have called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeketh after. Shit. Yeah. That is what they call me. The Most High has not cast away his people which he for you. Exactly. They started, <laughs> they started open up their mouth, they started to talk shit. Our right, scripture say, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? You know, they, they, they taught to themselves, as, as the book says in Jeremiah chapter 30, the Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah 33 and verse um, 23. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Considerest thou not what these people have spoken, saying the two families which the Lord had chosen, he had even cast them off? Thus they have despised my people, that they should be no more a nation before them. Thus said the Lord, If my covenant be not with thee and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob <laughs> and David my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for I will cause their captivity to return, which means to reverse. You're going to cause it to reverse. You're going to take us out of this and have mercy on them. Mercy coming is mercy for the nation. Despite we were sinners, yes, we fucked up, which you nations thought we was done for because we all sinned, as Daniel 9 says. All Israel have sinned, all right? But you forgot the message of mercy, which which you have shy him coming and dying. Was that, does that, um, that mercy, that is a great mercy. 
Because without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. He came and he, he paid that price. He made, he made himself the lamb. The sacrificial lamb. Alright? So continue. Let's finish. Talk, three more verses in the psalm. It says, let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. Who is the prisoner? Who is the one's captive? As Yahweh Shai said it in the synagogue. In Luke chapter 4 verse 18. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Which he was quoting from Isaiah 61. To preach captive, to, to preach um, salvation to the captive. You receive enough sight to the blind. Is is for us. We are the people robbed and spoiled and hidden prison houses. That's right. All right. It says, "Come before thee, according to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Preserve thou those that are appointed to die. For thy sake we die all the day long, and He preserved us." He preserved the elect. Okay. He preserved my soul from this time even forevermore. That is the elect. Wherever, in whatever generation the elect came back, they were preserved. Okay. I elect from since the beginning and stopped being the elect. He's still the elect up to this very day. They can't stop that. Okay. And the elect is going to be saved. Okay. All right? He will save his elect. When you read Matthew 24. All right? He's already written in the book. That is it. Verse 12, and render unto our neighbors sevenfold in their bosom their reproach. Wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. So we thy people and sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever. It's going to be a two A in the kingdom, going to be an everlasting thanksgiving. We can't stop getting most high thanks. The praise that the elect is going to give to the most high is going to surpass all praises that have ever been given on earth okay. and in heaven the praise the most the, the elect going and get the most high that pray that 144,000 plus praise and thanks can be the greatest ever it says we will show forth thy praise to all generations <laughs> that means that praise ain't going and stopping you, your children, grandchildren, grandchildren, children, children, going and raise up praising them. Okay. It ain't gonna know this continuation of your heritage then. Like everybody come out of you praising them. And how that gonna happen? Every time the children come for the teach them about the most high, teach them. Teach them. Just like how now, how you use your heritage, the teachers and their heritage. Every, every mm. time a generation come to teach, they teach them something. And, else and, and, and guess what? That, as the brother said, teach them. Some of you, some of you dummies might say, but but the new covenant say we have to teach. Obviously, when you have a child, scripture say train them up. Train We're gonna up. have to teach them. Yeah. But it ain't gonna be hard. No, it ain't it's, gonna be hard. They're gonna get them instruction and they can they can understand it one time one and time. follow suit. Yeah. It's not like we're gonna have to go down the highways and hedges and and teach and preach no. and and bring this and bring that and give me this yeah. and give me that to, to break down nothing for nobody. No, no, it's as you no. say it, yeah, boy. And they're going to get it. Yeah, they're going to get it one time. It's the same way it is in this time here. That's how the, the, how the teach false teaching. Mm -hmm. They tell you, and they, yeah, let's follow it. Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to be. They, they teach them and they, let's go and follow it. I mean, they didn't always start, so they, they firstly they, they beat it into us. Can. But you know, two, two generations coming down with our four parents teaching their children and their children, children, it became the norm. Lies became the norm. Our fathers, if they say our fathers have inherited lies and they passed it on, and today now we have eaten the fruit of lies. Okay. You understand? But the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahusha is about to deliver us out of this because men have woken up, which is a sign. Us waking up today, men are only four corners of the world calling on Yahweh Bashem, Yahusha is a sign of the soon salvation to come. Okay. That is how we know for sure, for sure, we in the last days. Where your grandmother was telling you, she wasn't too sure neither. But we know, we sure, sure. because we seen it. You can see the scriptures. The, the scriptures say, and the enemy will speak and it will not speak. lie. Can. So we know for sure, no. We wasn't seen it before. We're sure. The same, we're talking about the Jesus thing. It don't make any sense. sense. The teachings of Jesus doesn't make any sense. But know that the teaching of about Shai or Shai and the true doctrine. Now we get it. Now we men we can I'll back up with the sound of your clothes. I don't fear anything. Right. Today so Psalm 73 and verse 17. Until I went into the sanctuary of power, where is the sanctuary the most high? There's truth. Where the men of the Lord, the prophets reside. 
until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High, then understood I their end. Yeah. And for you to, when you understand their end, you're going to know that we have next. <laughs> for, for Esau so is the yeah. end, and then Jacob is the beginning. Yeah. And there is the knowledge that the Heavenly Father bestowed upon us. Yeah. That this hellhole that we in, we ain't going to be in it forever. There's yeah. hope. Yeah, yeah well, shall I see that? Come to wipe away all tears. But there's no hope. There's no hope in, 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 in Christianity. Nope. Where is all the hope on? We don't have no knowledge of the scriptures, knowledge of the truth. Hmm. They can hope in that chip and get disappointed. Our, our, our um, expectations and our hope are far, are further, far past Christianity. Can. They have hope. They have no hope. Hopeless. Desperate. Huh? Alright, so with that we give all praises and all glory to your power. Basham Yawashai, Basham Akakodash. Praises and all glory to Heavenly Father, show name in the name of his only begotten son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and also in the name of the Holy Spirit. Alright, double honors to the elders and apostles of great ministers, our teachers that surely do rule well. Peace, love, salutations, all the brethren around the four corners of this world that continue to spread this word, this good gospel in all sincerity and in truth. Brother, some great men, Stone Trinidad, once more saying, Keep feeding your faith. Save it also that stay strong. Shalom. 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 Shalom.